Do you suffer from an irritated throat and airways? Do you experience an indigestion? Or frequently encounter an inexplicable and continuous cough? Maybe you have a breathing problem, a harsh voice, excessive salivation, regurgitation, bad breath, chest pain, heart burn, asthma, pneumonia, bitter taste and pain, after eating while resting. If you are experiencing several of these symptoms, then probably you have a GERD. What is GERD? Gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, is a disorder in which stomach acid runs up into the esophagus on a regular basis. The esophagus is the tube that delivers food from the mouth to the stomach. It is also known as the food pipe or gullet. Heartburn and other symptoms, as well as probable tissue damage, are caused by acid in the esophagus. According to the American College of Gastroenterology, at least 15 million Americans, or 20% of the population, suffer from heartburn on a daily basis. Causes of GERD Acid reflux is fairly frequent, and it is commonly caused by overeating, lying down after eating, or consuming certain foods. Recurrent acid reflux, often known as GERD, has a variety of causes and risk factors, as well as the potential for more serious problems. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, affects people of all ages, and it can arise for a variety of causes. People with GERD are more likely to be obesity or being overweight due to increased abdominal pressure. Pregnant due to the same increased pressure. Using certain drugs, such as aspirin, calcium channel blockers, antihistamines, sedatives, and antidepressants. Smoking, as well as secondhand smoke exposure. Hiatal hernia is a disorder in which the top of the stomach protrudes into the chest due to a hole in the diaphragm. This decreases the esophageal sphincter's pressure, increasing the risk of GERD. Fast facts about GERD. Here are a few crucial factors to remember about GERD. The main video contains more information and details. Stomach acid that washes up into the esophagus can cause tissue damage that is harmful. A malfunctioning valve at the top of the stomach and the bottom of the esophagus might cause GERD. Maintaining a healthy weight, stopping smoking, and lowering stress can all assist to lower GERD risk. Protein pump inhibitors, antacids, and other drugs, as well as lifestyle adjustments, may be used to treat GERD. Here are the most common GERD symptoms. 1. Sore throat. Sore throats are normally associated with illness, but GERD can irritate the throat and airways if stomach acids move upward. Unlike a cold, a sore throat does not go away on its own. A prolonged sore throat is a symptom of GERD. They'll have a sore throat as well as the sensation of a lump in their throat that won't go away. As a result, GERD patients may find themselves clearing their throats frequently. 2. Dyspepsia. Dyspepsia, more commonly known as indigestion, causes mild to severe stomach pain, most typically following meals. Reflux can cause a narrowing of the throat due to damage and scarring, so food is actually being held up on its way down, says Josh Murray, MD, to prevention. This can be extremely uncomfortable. Prevention website describes it as feeling like your food has grown claws and is raking at your throat as it heads toward your stomach. 3. Chronic dry cough. GERD patients frequently experience an inexplicable and continuous cough, which worsens at night or when lying prone. Many respiratory problems, such as chronic cough and wheeze, can also be linked to heartburn, possibly because stomach acid is entering into your lungs, according to health.com. Patients should also ask their doctor for a pH test if they suspect heartburn is causing any of their symptoms, including a chronic cough, according to the source. 4. Breathing issues. If refluxed acid enters the airways, it can cause breathing problems and possibly asthma in extreme situations. The truth is that most asthma treatments aggravate acid reflux. 5. Horse voice. Don't merely dismiss a hoarse voice as a sign of illness, there may be more to it. 
If acidic juices flow up into the upper esophagus on a frequent basis, it can harm the throat and even the voice box or larynx, resulting in a hoarse voice and sore throat. Stomach acid in the esophagus can harm the vocal cords, according to Timothy Fanner, MD, Assistant Professor of Internal Medicine at Texas A&M Health Science Center College of Medicine in College Station. If you notice a change in your voice after eating, it's possible that you have GERD. 6. Excessive salivation. Due to difficulty swallowing or keeping saliva in the mouth, many GERD patients have excessive saliva. A full mouth of saliva after a meal is one of the best markers of GERD, according to Prevention, which spoke with Josh Murray, MD. We forget how in tune our bodies are at times. When the body detects irritation in the esophagus, it instructs the salivary glands to work overtime, which is why patients who suffer from acid reflux get a lot of relief. 7. Regurgitation. Nausea is a common symptom of GERD. Regurgitation and vomiting might occur if it persists for an extended period, generating severe acid reflux. Many patients say it seems like food is coming back into the mouth, leaving an acid or bitter taste, according to Webbed, which may explain why many people with GERD also feel queasy. 8. Bad breath. One of the more uncomfortable symptoms of acid reflux is bad breath. Acid from the stomach and digestive system flows up into the oral cavity, causing bad breath. 9. A failure to thrive. GERD is not a life-threatening condition, but it can have a substantial impact on your quality of life if symptoms like heartburn, chest discomfort, sore throat, and nausea cause pain, humiliation, and melancholy. Insomnia can be caused by nighttime reflux, and the tension associated with reflux-triggering meals can be overpowering. 10. Chest pain. Many people immediately equate chest pain with a heart attack, but it can also be a symptom of GERD. GERD patients experience chest pain when stomach acid pours back up into the esophagus, creating excruciating pain that is sometimes misdiagnosed as a heart attack. It's not uncommon to see someone in the ear with severe chest pain, mistaking it for a heart attack, says Josh Murray, MD, to prevention. Regrettably, there are several situations where the opposite occurs. Someone has chest pain, but rather than rushing to the emergency room, they chalk it up to a minor ailment like GERD. When in doubt, go to the emergency room, urges one expert. 11. Heartburn. One of the most prevalent symptoms of GERD is heartburn, which typically feels like a burning chest discomfort beginning beneath the breastbone and progressing upward to the neck and throat, according to Webbed. Many people have claimed that food is coming back up into their throat and leaving an unpleasant or bitter taste in their mouth, according to the article. Heartburn is no laughing matter for many people, and it can linger up to two hours. It is unsurprising that it worsens after eating. When a person lays down or even merely bends over, it generally starts. Standing upright or taking an antacid to neutralize the acid is the best approach to get relief. 12. Bitter taste. When stomach acid backs up into the neck and back of the mouth, it can leave a bitter or sour taste in your tongue, which is understandable. This symptom goes hand in hand with the previous symptom of poor breath. Acid regurgitation is one of the best indicators used to identify GERD, according to a 1999 study published in the American Journal of Medicine, an acid regurgitation was described as a bitter or sour-tasting fluid flowing into the throat or mouth. As previously stated, acid regurgitation can induce choking in severe cases of GERD, especially if it occurs while the patient is sleeping. Walter J. Coyle, MD, a GI doctor with Scripps Clinic Torrey Pines in La Jolla, California, tells Health.com, if patients wake up choking, I'm quite aggressive with therapy. He adds he'll give acid-suppressing drugs like proton pump inhibitors, H2 blockers, and antacids to help. 13. Asthma. As if suffering from GERD wasn't bad enough, asthma is one of the many symptoms that come with it. According to Josh Murray, MD, a GI doctor and researcher at the Mayo Clinic, acid splashing up into the esophagus can trigger a reflex that produces wheezing when you lie down. Acid can also enter the airways and create immediate irritation, so you may wake up choking and coughing. 
According to Health.com, it's unclear how often GERD causes people to acquire asthma, but many people with GERD also have asthma. It's still unclear whether there's a link between the two. 14. Pneumonia. This may appear to be an unusual symptom of acid reflux, but there's a reason for it. Stomach acid isn't supposed to escape the stomach, thus, it produces a slew of issues when it does. It not only irritates the throat, but stomach acid can also enter the lungs. According to Joseph Murray, MD, if this happens, it will almost certainly result in a severe case of pneumonia. In the past, acid reflux could have been the cause of several unexplained occurrences of pneumonia. 15. Pain after eating and while resting. Finding relief from GERD is one of the most difficult aspects of the condition. It's one of the rare conditions that worsens when you try to sleep or lie down. This is because the acid is most likely to leak into the esophagus when in a horizontal position or bending over. Gravity helps keep food in the stomach if you sit up straight. You're more prone to reflux if you lose your gravity, Dr. Coyle tells Health.com. It's not surprising that symptoms appear shortly after eating, especially if it's a large dinner. When your stomach is full, the best way to get rid of any leftover food is to throw it up. Fast food, alcohol, and anything too fatty should be avoided by people with GERD. I would emphasize not eating large, heavy meals and monitoring your alcohol and smoke intake," adds Coyle.